So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to create this alpha matte text effect. Hey guys, it's Ross from Flatback Effects here and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Now, if you wanna follow along with this tutorial, I've put links to the font that I'm using as well as these video files. And I've put a link to that all in the description below. Now, the first thing we want to do is actually come over here and just right click and create a new composition. I'm going to call mine Alpha One set this to be 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to set my duration to be about four seconds in length and then set my frame rate to be 30 frames a second and hit OK. Now just before we move on, if you're new to this channel or you haven't already, maybe consider signing up to my email list. It not only comes with my free pro tips guide, but you'll be kept up to date with the latest news, tutorials and new product launches and I've put a link to that in the description below. Now for this first effect, all we're going to do is just drag our video file onto our composition and I'm just going to scale this down so it fills my entire frame. The next part is we just want to add some text that sits over the top. So I'm just going to right click and create a new line of text. Now you can type out whatever text you want here and for the actual font I'm using this font here the baby wildly personal font and I've put a link to that in the description below if you want to use that exact font. Now I can just simply scale this up and down just to get my font in the right position. I'm also just going to reposition it here very slightly. So now we have that text position where we want it. We now want to put an overlay over our background video. So to do this, all I do is right click, create a new solid. And I wanna set my solid and I want to make sure my solid is set to black and then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to drag this down so it's underneath our text layer. Now what I'm going to do is just select that layer and hit T on the keyboard and that's going to bring up the opacity controls and then I want to adjust this to be about 70%. Now to actually make this track matte effect over the text, what I'm going to do is take my background image or my video, I'm simply just going to duplicate it and I'm going to drag it above that black layer that we just created. Then I want to actually go in and change the track matte settings. Now to do this, we come down here to toggle this switches mode. So you get these columns appearing here and we want to come down to the track matte and actually change this to be alpha matte of the adventure layer. Now, if your settings are not there, just right click, go down to columns and make sure your modes is selected and then you can make the final adjustments. Now, as soon as we do that, you're going to see that text is immediately going to pop up with that effect that we've been wanting to create. Now, the best part about this is we can just go ahead and now edit that text and we don't have to worry about our background layers. So as we scale this up, we can even move this around the screen and you can see that effect is always going to work. The other cool thing we can do here is we can actually adjust this background layer to make that effect more prominent or not just by turning that opacity slider up and down. So that's one really cool way of creating and using an alpha text mat. Another way we can actually use this effect is by using an overlay over the top. So let's just create another composition here. What I'm going to do is take my alpha one layer here and I'm just going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to open up this second composition. So we've got another composition here and I just want to come down here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete that second video layer and just turn my text back on. And then I want to grab my black layer here and I just want to scale this down to around sort of 65 here. So something that looks around that. Now the downside of using this particular effect is that once we edit the text or once we've created the text, we can't edit it later. You're pretty much stuck as it is. So we need to make sure that our text is set to the correct size and it's also set to the right settings and position for what you particularly want. Now also find that if you change the font here to something a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna make this fat frank, it also works a little bit better for this particular effect and we're going to see why in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is just reposition this one so it's roughly about here. Now the next thing is I'm just gonna drag in some more images here. So I've, so I've just imported some of these new images here. And what I want to do is I just want to grab my first image here and just drag it underneath my text. Now I'm just gonna scale this down very slightly here 
and I just want to reposition it roughly behind that A and the L. Now what I actually want to do is I want to break this into a few different parts. I'm going to break this text up into a few different sections. And the way we do this is actually just take this text and I'm going to delete the back end. And I just want to reposition this roughly where it was before. And then I'm just going to duplicate that text. I'm going to move it across and I'm going to type out my next letters here, maybe just the P in this one. And I'm going to duplicate that again and move it across. So we've got three separate layers of text here. Now it's really important that we get this right because once it's positioned where it is, it's quite difficult to then move it. So I'm happy with that positioning here and I want and I want to take my image here that's underneath my AL, my first two letters, and then make that the track mat of the AL. Now, once that's in position, I can move this around however I want to get the correct position of that image over my text, if that makes sense. The other thing I'm going to do is also grab another image here. So maybe something like this image here and drag this under my P and also make that the alpha mat of the P letter. So you can kind of see what we're doing here. All we're doing is we're just taking each individual image and we're just repositioning it over one of those letters. So I'm gonna take my final image here and drag it under the HA and I'm going to do the same thing again. And then I'm just going to scale this down to the correct position and reposition it. So once we've got that in the correct position and you're happy with that, it's then just a matter of adjusting a few of these settings. So I can actually scale this up to get even more, just to darken that background image even more. I could even just right click and create a new layer of text here and give it say a subtitle. So I could just say like second title and I might even drop this down to say a Helvetica, Helvetica regular, drop this underneath, maybe give it the correct spelling. And then I can just also, so something that looks like that. So we've taken our main title text and we've split it into three distinctive layers. Now you could do this with every single letter or you could do it like I've done and break it up into sections. It's entirely up to you. Another cool thing to remember here is that this works with video files as well as images. So you could even use video files over these letters if you wanted to create that same effect, but say the video, you had video instead of images. Another thing we could do here is actually take these images and just animate a bit of a scale. So I'm creating a scale keyframe. So something like this with just a really subtle sort of scale on it. And you can see as we play through that, we get some interesting effects where it looks like the image and text is actually zooming out or zooming in. So there you go, guys. There's two ways you can use this alpha mat text to create some interesting effects. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more tutorials like this over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.